Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. This is your brother Santosh coming to you with yet another episode on the Blessed Life in Christ video and podcast series. Dear beloved, over the past several days, we have been continuously meditating on the 91st Psalm. And in the 91st Psalm, we saw several things and uh, we are in a very difficult kind of a situation because of the coronavirus and because of the lockdown. And... Uh, the interesting thing is nobody really knows what's happening nobody really knows how much time it, it is going to take before they lift the lockdown and uh, whether it is going to be extended or not no one really knows but dear beloved i would like to inform you that god is very much in control he knows what's happening he has everything under his control so we don't have to worry about anything and today especially we are going to meditate on the key verse of this 91st psalm and this is the uh, psalm which has been shared back and forth during these times and everyone claiming that there is uh, no evil shall befall thee and uh, uh, no plague shall come nigh your dwelling while it is okay and it is very good that people are using the word of god we have to do it with a sense of purpose and a sense of with a sense of responsibility the responsibility is to the meditating of the word of god which should be according to the principles of you know theology and theology context is king and uh, this verse is the 10th verse and so we should definitely take into consideration what the previous nine verses said and that is what we have been continuously meditating over the past several days and um, we have you know come to know several interesting things and uh, one important thing in this particular promise is that this is a conditional promise this is a promise given to a person who has got god as his own trust he does not trust in any other thing he does not trust his money or his uh, belongings or his uh, uh, political patronage or whatever it is and he does not claim any of that and he fully completely trusts in god and this is the only person who can claim this promise and this promise is intended to be used only by those person and others even though they can quote it they will not be able to use it because it won't work on them because they don't have god as their trust and now that we have established the fact that this is for people who believe in god no matter what comes no matter whatever happening whatever is happening around them they are going to trust god and him alone and uh, for them the promise is there shall no evil befall the neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling here we are going to see an interesting aspect of this particular verse this particular verse is it says that uh, no you know the pestilence whatsoever whatever it may be whether it is corona virus now or something else down the future whatever it is it won't have an effect on those who believe those who trust in the lord they don't have to fear number 1 and number 2 god is also interested in what we have why in christianity people are very much interested in going to heaven being you know caught up in the second coming you know going to zion and jerusalem and you know new earth and new heaven and whatever i mean that is what they are trying to that is where they are trying to go they are more interested in going to heaven than anything else because they believe the second coming is very much near and jesus is going to take them and put them in heaven but dearly beloved remember one thing heaven is not 
a Christian team. You may be, you may be, you may be shocked. Even I don't uh, really know, but heaven is heaven belongs to religion, but Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a way. It is the truth and life. And Jesus said, "I am the way, truth, and life." To is it to the heaven or to God? If you read the word of God very carefully, you will see that when Jesus says, "I am the way, truth, and life," He says, "I am the way, truth, and life to my Father." So it is to the rest, you know, relationship to which. God is calling you and me. When we go into a relationship with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus Christ and the Father, wherever they may be, that will be heaven, right? That is that is what we should understand. It is not it it is not a place where we are interested in. Okay, when you die, you are you know the heaven is laid in. Laid with the roads in gold and everything, and if you are going to be put in that kind of a place where there is no Jesus, will you be happy? I don't think so. So that is not our area of interest. Our area of interest is Jesus Christ and Him alone, and the relationship that we have with Him. Dear beloved, that is why this promise, you know, it says, "There shall no evil befall thee." you know so it will not affect you and uh, number 2 and neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling so jesus christ you know god is interested in he is interested in you and uh, he is also interested in your dwelling as much as he has interest in you so that that in itself is a shocker to many but that is what the word of god says it is not my idea it is the word of god's idea that god is interested in both you and the place you dwell in and how can we claim that he is more interested i mean he is interested in our place of dwelling because you know the prayer which jesus christ taught his disciples he said hallowed our uh, father in heaven hallowed be thy name and thy kingdom come where should the kingdom come the kingdom should come down from heaven to earth to wherever we wherever we reside wherever we live that is where the kingdom has to come and when the kingdom of god is coming down you know that is where you and i we are going to be of any use to this world to the people who are living around us that is how god wants to save this world he does not want to you know pick up a group of people and put them safely away in heaven that is not his idea that is religion's idea because every religion has a form of heaven we call it heaven muslims call it paradise hindus call it vaigundam you know they have their own places of heaven where they are interested in going but we are not interested in that we are interested in jesus and him alone and he promises that he will not only take care of you but also wherever you dwell in dear beloved please continue to stay with me and god willing we will be continuously meditating on these words may god bless you i'll see you in the next video thank you and bye